this video, we'll be proving the following, the following theorem. A system of linear equation has zero, one, or infinitely many solutions. There are no other possibilities. Right? That's something that we saw a lot in linear systems in the chapter three, but we never actually prove it. So we'll prove it today, and we'll prove it using the link between a linear system and matrix algebra. All right, so let's say that our system is ax equals b. So we write, rewrite it in the matrix algebra world. And I want to prove that these are the only possibilities. So let's assume that we don't have 0 and we don't have 1. So we know we have at least two solutions. And I'm going to prove that as soon as you have two, you have infinitely many. All right, so assume that the system has two different solutions. And I'm going to call them x1 and x2. All right, so what we're given is that x1 is a solution. Is a solution. So if I plug it in instead of x, I'll get b. And same thing for x2. If I plug it in instead of x, I will get b. All right, so we have these two solutions. Our work, our goal, is to prove or find infinitely many solutions. All right, so for any real number t, all right, so already that's tons of different number. I'm going to construct a solution. How did I come up with this? Well, it looks complicated when I read it out, but really, geometrically, remember the solutions, we often plotted them in chapter 3 and thought of them as lines and planes. If I have x1 and x2 here, then xt just represents all points on this line. And so what I want to prove is that this entire line needs to fit um, our equation ax equals b. All right, so this is a random point on the line from x1 to x2. I want to prove it's a solution. So I want to plug it into my equation ax equals b, and I want to prove that I get b. So let's spell this out. xt is x1 plus t x2 minus x1. I'm going to distribute this. In fact, why don't we distribute this, and then we'll distribute the a in. Notice that all of this is super easy. This expansion is easy in the matrix algebra world, but if you think of what it would be in a linear system, that'd be super complicated. And so that's why we waited until now to do it. All right, I get ax1 plus t ax2 minus t ax1. All right, this seems complicated, but we've assumed that ax1 and ax2 were solutions, so I'm getting b plus tb minus tb, and I get b. And so what we've just proven is for any real number t, xt is a new solution, another, a different solution. And so my solution has infinitely, my system has infinitely many solution. Again, sounds complicated, but really, if I have x1 and x2 that fit the system, then the whole line must fit it, and that line has infinitely many points. That's the idea.